day by singing our greeting song. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. We'll play and we'll sing and we'll have fun too. Today what we'll be doing in my music room is we will be singing a song about a little rabbit called Peter. We'll also be looking around and seeing what we can think of could be an old McDonald's farm. And we might do some beat with that too, using maybe a bucket. So before we go too much further, press pause and you can go and get a bucket and maybe something to tap it with. And the third thing that we will be doing today, we'll be saying a rhyme. A rhyme about a rooster and his master and dame. We'll have a good time this morning. Off you go and get your bucket and something to hit it with. See you soon. Welcome back Prep. Our first thing that we're going to do today is a song about Little Peter Rabbit. Now a few weeks ago we did a song about bingo and remember we left out letters in the word bingo. We were using our inner hearing and singing inside our head. Well, that's what we're going to do today with Little Peter Rabbit. But we've got some um, actions that we do with it. So, listening here, and this is how it goes. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose and he flipped it and he flopped it and it flew away. All right, let's see if you can sing that one with me and do the actions as well. Are you ready? Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose and he flipped it and he flopped it and it flew away. That was really well done. This time we're going to sing uh, the word Peter, uh, little, little. We're going to sing little in our heads. Are you ready? So we go and we do the action but we don't sing the word. Are you ready? Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. And he flipped it and he flopped it and it flew away. Really well done. This time we're going to leave out little and rabbit. But we're still going to do the, the actions for it. Are you ready? Peter had a fly upon his nose. Peter had a fly upon his nose. Peter had a fly upon his nose. And he flipped it and he flopped it and it flew away. This time, what do you think we're going to leave out? That's right. Fly going to leave fly out. I had to think then, so we're going to leave fly. Are you ready? Peter had a on his nose. Peter had a on his nose. Peter had a on his nose and he flipped it and he flopped it and it flew away. This time we're going to leave out nose. Are you ready? Peter had a mm on his mm. Mm, Peter mm, had a mm on his mm. Mm, Peter mm, had a mm on his mm. And he flipped it and he flopped it and it flew away. This time, notice that I sometimes go mm when I've missed out a word. And that sometimes helps you to get the hearing inside your head. Are you ready? This time we're going to leave out little rabbit fly, nose, flip, flop, flew away. All right, are you ready? And you can say mm instead of those words. Are you ready? Mm, Peter mm, had a mm on his mm. Mm, Peter mm, had a mm on his mm. 
mm, Peter mm, had a mm, on his mm, any mm, any mm, any mm, mm, mm. <laughs> That one's a lot of fun. Let's just sing it all the way through with the words. Are you ready? Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. And he flipped it and he flopped it and it flew away. Okay, that one is a lot of fun. Well done. For this song, we're going to use our bucket. Oops, there goes BB. Come back, BB. You can sit in there now. All right, so we're going to use our bucket. Always have a bucket on hand. And I'm going to use a wooden spoon. You can just use your hand if you like. It makes a nice sound too. All right, we're going to do Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Let's sing the song together without making doing the beat on the bucket. We'll just sing the song. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a... Oh, what can Old MacDonald have on his farm? Let's try a dog first up. And on that farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O. With a woof woof here and a woof woof there. Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. That was really good. What could you think could be our next animal? What else could be on a farm? If we have a dog, they have to ha help round up the sheep on some big properties out in Western Australia or in Queensland or New South Wales or in Victoria, definitely, or in South Australia. All those places have a lot of sheep. Okay, so we, can, we will have sheep on our farm. Ready and... Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there, here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Now what we can do now is we can start to keep the beat, not too loudly because we still want to hear you sing. So, are you ready? Our next animal could be a cow. Okay, so we're going to have a cow on our farm. Are you ready to keep the beat with your bucket? Not too loudly. Ready and... Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. Sometimes when you're out on a farm, you might use this particular thing to go and round up your cows. And you might have a horse. You'd be very lucky to have a horse. So let's keep the beat on our bucket. See if there are other places on your bucket where you could keep the beat. It might make a slightly different sound. Are you ready? Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay nay here and a nay nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. This time I might just use my hand. And something else that we might have around the farm could be a chicken. So we're going to have a chicken noise. Are you ready? And. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a bark bark here and a bark bark there. Here a bark, there a bark, everywhere a bark bark. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. That was a funny chicken sound, wasn't it? All right, I think for our last one, how about we have a duck? duck and I might use two hands on my bucket hopefully it won't fall off all right you ready and old MacDonald had a farm e -I -E -I -O. and on that 
fun, he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Whoops, lost my bucket. All right, well done, preps. I hope you had some fun with that one. Lastly today, prep, we're going to do a rhyme. I need you to think about it and think whether I am using my speaking voice or my singing voice. Here is the rhyme. Cock-a-doodle-doo, the dame has lost her shoe. The master lost his fiddling sticks and knows not what to do. That's right, I am using my speaking voice. See if you can say it with me. Cock-a-doodle-doo, the dame has lost her shoe. The master lost his fiddling stick and knows not what to do. When they say the dame's lost her shoe, well, we know what that means. That means that the lady has lost her shoe. The master lost his fiddling stick. So he obviously plays the violin and the bow is his fiddling stick. Because often, especially if they're playing a certain type of folk music, a violin could get called a fiddle. So the fiddling stick is the bow of his violin. Okay? So let's say it one more time. Cock-a-doodle-doo, the dame has lost her shoe. The master lost his fiddling stick and knows not what to do. Well done, Prep. We've had a lovely time together today and had a lot of fun. Thank you for coming to join me in my music room. I'll see you next time. Bye.